Hello, I'm Jay Chung, and I'm the senior EOS developer for Uncloak, and I'm also SysOps and Technology at HK EOS, which is Hong Kong EOS, a standby block producer on the EOS mainnet right now. And I started coding when I was around 14. Uh, I'm super excited um, about cybersecurity in general, and I love crypto. I got into it around a year ago and started getting into EOS. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about me. So I met Teo in a meetup in Hong Kong and I learned about Uncloak for the first time there. And as an EOS developer, I was really intrigued to hear about a project that was about to be deployed on the EOS blockchain. And I especially love two aspects of Uncloak specifically. Firstly, there's the artificial intelligence to check public and hidden internet data for cybersecurity threats. And this next generation cybersecurity vulnerability scanning system ensures that businesses remain compliant and aware of security issues. Security is, an, is a really important aspect for all online services actually. For every white hat hacker out there, there are at least 10 hackers trying to exploit potential vulnerability in your system. EOTS itself is no exception from cybersecurity threats. When setting up our block producing infrastructure for the EOS mainnet at Hong Kong EOS, there were numerous attack vectors that had to be considered. Even now, it's quite unlikely that all of the block producing infrastructures in the network are completely secure. An AI that can find these issues before malicious hackers do is a complete game changer. Another aspect that's great about Uncloak is its affinity to the mindset of EOS and decentralization. The platform allows IT experts from everywhere to collaborate and receive rewards for resolving vulnerabilities. And being deployed on EOS, no one entity owns all of the rewards and data either. So there are a couple things that EOS is optimized for. First of all, it's scalability. EOS's targeted throughput on launch is two orders of magnitude better than Ethereum at around 1,000 to 6,000 transactions per second compared to 15 transactions per second in the current Ethereum implementation. And even though EOS isn't at the multi-thousands yet, according to the performance tests with even weaker infrastructures than mainnet uh, a couple weeks ago, it was getting very close to 1,000 transactions per second quite regularly. EOS also has zero transaction fees. EOS users need to own or rent some of the coin and tokens to use the network, but there are no fees per transaction directly. Therefore, the nature of dApps built on EOS can be fundamentally different from those built on Ethereum. Finally, EOS is also a large market for RAM, network bandwidth, and CPU. By buying RAM with EOS tokens and or staking them for bandwidth, Uncloak can efficiently maintain the amount needed depending on the traffic on the platform. And it's also very easy to scale up and down by using the EOS blockchain. By using EOS, it essentially eliminates the need to have centralized servers. So it really sticks to the idea of decentralization.